Hello guys, today we are talking about the 1300 GS and the new option, the clutch that is now automated and the shifting is automated. So here you see a clutch lever. On the newer ones where you add the automated clutching, it will not have this lever anymore. It will be gone. This one, the gear shifter, it will stay where it is. So, how is it working? You get here an extra button where you can say manual or uh, manual shifting or automated shifting. And this is then so that when you put the throttle and you're staying on the on the on the yeah uh, on the street and you get the green light, then you twist the throttle it's clutching by itself and going up and then you remember maybe when you put on the and on the bike then you have here the uh, shift uh, indicator so it, it shows you when you shift, uh, shift up or when you should shift down uh, so you are in the uh, best operation rpms and economy is better on the fuel consumption so that's something quite nice and uh, that was something on the 1200 GS already implemented. On this one you have it too and it will not show you or it will show you uh, the shift up and down but it will do it by itself because the bike will shift by itself like pull the clutch, shift release the clutch and uh, some people are talking this is a Honda DCT Honda DCT has it already since 10 years or more and it's working great and blah 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 and BMW took so long yes but you need to know this is not DCT DCT means dual clutch transmission this is not dual clutch this is a single clutch transmission it has still the clutch here on the front and has an actuator where it's releasing and uh, uh, pushing the clutch so that's something uh, quite standard uh, as this bike has it's just only a mechanism that is pulling the clutch releasing the clutch and then something that is pulling the gears up and down that's it okay yes there are more modules on it blah 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 more weight for sure also on the bike but not so much weight more then on the DCT clutch from Honda because I think there is 20 kilograms more or something so here it will be maybe two kilograms or so something like that and what I think about this option okay so many people will be really angry that they would buy this but they have already bought a GS yeah BMW had I think problems with it so they didn't release it in the time where they released the 1300 GS and this is why they say it we will release it now and yeah it's a tricky situation i understand that but it will be never working like a dct so you shouldn't expect something like a dct you you should expect something uh like the uh bike when you ride and you pull the uh, the uh, quick shifter all uh blipper up and down up and down and this is how this will operate too. So it will be not smooth. It will be a little bit like a little bit harder, let's say. I think when you go full throttle or more RPM, it will be not a problem. But in 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 uh, street like uh, city rides, it will be a little bit, I would say, a little bit harsh, and it will be annoying. So. Um, this is something where I say you can compare it to an e-gear or R-Tronic that was mounted on Lamborghinis and Audis. This was the same. It was uh, everything actuated and people were not really, really happy about that. It was not a, a shitty gearbox, but it was not the fastest one. It was not the smoothest one. So that's something uh, take in mind when you want to order something like that. Yeah. Better is wait for a test bike at your dealer and ride it before you order it. 
because yeah I, for me it's not an option really it's not an option maybe for uh, road riders that are riding many kilometers on road it will be an option but for me definitely not so i hope you enjoyed the bike i hope you enjoyed the gs and see you next time i hope you i hope you subscribe already if not subscribe like the video please and see you next time bye